Welcome to Sphere Finance. I am Price Time and you're watching Sphere TV. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to earn high yields on stablecoins using Dystopia and Penrose, and offer suggestions for how to maximize your yields. As a heads up, this video is more geared towards intermediate to advanced users. However, if you are a beginner, you still stand to learn a lot from watching this video. But first, over 34% of you watching are not subscribed. So, if you end up enjoying the video and haven't already, subscribe. It helps support the channel, and by ringing the bell, you will automatically be notified when we create new content. Shout out to the over 65% of you watching who are subscribed, you know who you are, and thank you. Dystopia and Penrose collectively are providing high yields on stablecoins and other liquidity pairs on the Polygon network. Over time, this will be extended cross-chain. For stablecoin yields, the first thing I suggest doing is going to Dystopia and clicking on the Vote tab. Use the Total Votes column to sort by the percentage of votes a pool currently has to see which liquidity pools are most incentivized. And since we are looking to get high yields on stablecoins, we will focus on the stable pools. For example, we can see Frax Mai for 10 to 24% APR, USDC Frax for 11 to 28% APR, and USD Plus USDC for 15 to 26% APR. If you do not see the pool that you are looking for, you can scroll using the arrows on the bottom of the page or search in the search bar. As an example for this video, let's say I am interested in adding liquidity to the USD Plus USDC pool to earn 15 to 26% APR. Thanks to the yield bearing nature of USD Plus, I will be earning additional yield within the liquidity pool on top of that APR. Now that I know which pool I want to add to for stablecoin yields, I'll need to obtain an equal dollar value of each of these coins within the pool. You can use Dystopia Swap to do this, and or you can use the Overnight Finance app to convert to and from USD Plus at a 1 to 1 ratio with USDC. To save some time, I've already swapped some stables for roughly equal parts USD Plus and USDC. Next, you'll need to add liquidity to Dystopia to get your Dystopia LP. To do this, go to the Liquidity tab. Though you can click the Add Liquidity button, I find it is much easier to simply search for the pool you wish to deposit into, in this case USD+. There you can see the USD Plus USDC stable pool, and you can click the Manage button on the far right. This will bring you to an interface to deposit your two coins and create your Dystopia LP tokens. If nothing auto-populates, try toggling the I have LP token a couple of times, and this should auto-populate the correct info. You will now want to add equal values of each token. Click on Max or enter the most that you can deposit for either token. Once you are satisfied, scroll down and click Add Liquidity to deposit your tokens. If this is your first time, there will be additional transaction requests to allow Dystopia access to your stablecoins. After approving those, you can then approve the final transaction to add liquidity. This will deposit your two stablecoins together into the pool and give you a Dystopia LP in return. You may need to wait a minute or so and refresh the page for the system to update with your balances. After Polygon confirms your transaction and after refreshing the page, your Dystopia LP balance can be viewed in the liquidity tab under My Pool Amount for the pool you just added liquidity to. We now have a couple of options for how to use that Dystopia LP to generate yield. First, you can stake your Dystopia LP into Dystopia to earn DYST rewards. However, bear in mind that you can earn boosted DYST rewards and additional PEN rewards if you stake your Dystopia LP into Penrose. To make that optimized yield, let's stake our Dystopia LP tokens into Penrose. First, navigate to the Penrose app. Use official links only. These can be found in the description below and in the Penrose Discord and Twitter page. On the Stake LP tab, you can search for your liquidity pool either by scrolling through the pages or simply using the search bar. Since for this example, we will be staking our USD Plus USDC Dystopia LP, 
I will search for USD Plus. Navigate to the USD Plus USDC stable pool where you can see your balances, the total value locked, and the current APR. Click on it to open the interface. In deposit, let's enter max to deposit all of our dystopia LP. If this is your first time, you will need to first approve to allow Penrose access to your dystopia LP. After approving, you may need to refresh the page and navigate back to the pool and interface to ensure everything has updated. You can then deposit and stake. Again, you may need to refresh the page before everything updates. Once that deposit and stake is confirmed, congratulations! Your Dystopia LP is now staked in Penrose and you are now earning optimized and boosted Dystopia and Penrose yields. You will be able to see your rewards accumulate both in the interface and on the app homepage. To claim your rewards, navigate back to the pool and then claim your rewards. This can be done at any time. Liquidity providers earn both boosted DYST and PEN as rewards. You can add these tokens to your wallet by clicking on your account icon and adding each token. Those rewards are then yours to use freely and as you see fit. For example, you can sell your DYST and PEN rewards to buy more stablecoins to compound your yields back into the strategy. Alternatively, you can convert your DYST into PEN DYST. I suggest that you always do this because it will enhance Penrose's voting power over Dystopia, meaning more yield for you as a Penrose user. Though this conversion cannot be undone, there will be a growing liquidity pool to trade PEN DYST for DYST, so that you do not lose out when you convert. After converting and staking, your PEN DYST will earn additional DYST and PEN rewards, which can again be claimed at any time. You can also unstake your PEN DYST at any time. With your PEN rewards, you can vote lock them for a period of 16 weeks. Vote locked PEN allows you to vote on different liquidity pools to direct rewards. Vote Locked Pen also earns additional Pen DYST, which can again be claimed at any time. Recall that Pen DYST can be staked, providing even greater yield on your yield. And that is how you can use Dystopia and Penrose to maximize your stablecoin yields. Feel free to pause the video here if you need time to better understand how the Penrose rewards work. Also, before we end the video, I have some additional tips. You may recall that when you deposit and stake your Dystopia LP into Penrose, as a receipt you are given a Penrose LP. In the near future, you will be able to use your Penrose LP in Prion to deposit that Penrose LP as collateral to borrow the Prion stablecoin. This will open a means of accessing the majority of your initial staked liquidity and use it for any other purpose as you see fit, including leveraging your Penrose LP position. And remember, if you are simply a holder of Sphere and are not interested in going through all of this trouble, you will still benefit because Sphere has core governance power over Dystopia and Penrose and will use revenue from those governance tokens to buy and then burn Sphere for deflationary forced price appreciation of the Sphere token over the long term. Now, even if you're only understanding a small percentage of the information I'm sharing with you, that is okay. This is an entirely different paradigm from traditional finance, and there is a lot to learn. Active participation and baby steps are key to building your understanding, and we're here to help. Please ask questions and keep taking action because it is well worth it. The best place to reach out for help or contact us is through the Sphere Finance Discord. The link is in the description below, as well as links to the official website and other useful links, including for Dystopia and Penrose. You can also leave a comment below with your question, and we will do our best to help educate you and the community. After all, this video and channel is for educational purposes only and is not financial advice. I'll continue to post updates and educational videos about Sphere Finance, so be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out. Click the link on screen now to watch another video.
Thanks for watching, and always remember that you matter for who you are.